Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for February, anytime February. So keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you, okay? So this reading may or may not be for you. What do we have for Aries? Staff. Oh, you will be taken care of in difficult times. So you will be taken care of. You may be dealing with some difficult times. Oh, we got another one. Ant. Work, achievement, success. So, with hard work, you will achieve success, right? You will be taken care of in difficult times. Hmm. Aha! Throne, position of authority. Maybe you're going to be put on a throne. Maybe. It's a leadership position, right? It's a boss. It's being honored and cherished and respected. That's like king, right? It's like king status. Could be queen as well. In a position of authority. Let's get one of these. Or however many I feel like getting. Ah! Interesting. It fell right over in my hand. Aries. We're going to take them. <laughs> Obviously, it was meant for you. That's pretty funny. Aries. You're writing your own. Woo! 888. 8888 is a number of abundance, a number of change. It goes around, comes around as well. So, you know, it goes around, comes around. So keep that in mind. Anyhow, this is a kind of abundance, the ultimate abundance. Okay. Um, it is, is also a number of change. And the time is now. Eights mean the time is now. If you've been waiting to move on from something, the time is now. Headed towards the ultimate abundance where you are and you're going to be in your power. This card wouldn't have come up. And we have the position of authority, you know, put it, being put on some sort of pedestal perhaps. Their X. So there's an X here. I'm not sure where that's coming from. Ah, and they have done this before and they will continue to do so. So you're dealing with somebody that is probably dealing with their ex. They may be hiding it. They have done this before and they will continue to do so. I don't know how that resonates with you, but maybe you do. Somebody's dealing with their ex. Could be you. Somebody is dealing with their ex, and whoever their ex is, is never going to change. Whoever this ex is. Anyhow, well, what do we have for Aries? Oh, we got two of them. I got to take them. I wasn't meaning to take two, but it is what it is, right? Ten of coins, ten of pentacles. Like I said, the ultimate abundance. This is the ultimate comfort, right? Um, this is having it all. This is a comfortable, stable business, family, home life. Um, this is money, ha having plenty, nothing to worry about. Living a very comfortable life in the future. Four of swords. Whoo. Now, when I see the Four of Swords, I think of the death of a situation. This is a need to take a break, need to take a time out, need to reflect, reflect on who you are. Um, I think there's been some pain, obviously, because of the Three of Swords. There's been some sort of suffering. I feel like it's time for you to go your own way, right? Something is going to be happening in the fall as well. You may be... Uh, you know, feeling like you just want to be alone or that you need to be alone to contemplate for some reason. You may be going to a better place, taking a time out, you know, from whatever it is that you've been doing to heal from something. But whatever is happening, we get the Ten of Coins here, which is happy, comfortable, abundance. And the eights are abundance as well. So 
I'm not sure some of you may be receiving an increase of money or, or you are there's something happening where either you're gonna be you know receiving or having plenty I mean that ten of coins is the ultimate comfort it's a it's a happy home it's it's happiness it is there's nothing to worry about here you're at that you can be at ease success there's success to be had after there's been some sort of stagnation because the four of swords is stagnation but if you take on your own energy that means you have to take charge of a situation you have to take that leadership role right you're in the position of authority to make a decision that is best for you the time is now Let's get one of these. What do we have for Aries? You will be successful if you, you know, take the lead. You have to take the lead. You might have to charge through something, you know. You might have to be aggressive. Ah, broken heart. Now, it came out reversed. So I wonder if there's a healing here or healing love that is coming towards you. I don't know if there's some heartache, heart pain, you know, suffering. Um, but this is like healing. It's a, there's a healing energy here. There is because of that four of swords as well. I don't know if there's some sort of heart issues or something. It's coming to an end. Tens or a completion. Whenever I see the four of swords, I think of the death of a situation, the end of a situation. If you have been suffering in some sort of pain, I feel like it's coming to an end. You're about to see an increase. Abundance is coming your way, but it comes after you take charge. Because that is the first card. That is where you take the lead. You gotta take the lead. You gotta make some sort of decision. You gotta do something. You do. This is like a broken heart, but it did come out reverse. It is a nine, which is time for closure. It's time for closure. Time to heal. It's time to it's time to heal this heart of yours. Mm. I did buy a, I bought a uh, tripod that goes over, but it's not here yet, because I like to spend money on things, <laughs> not, I don't know, gotta do what I gotta do for my business, right, I gotta do what I do, gotta do to succeed. Anyhow, what do we have for Aries? What do we have for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. No, I think we'll take that one. Ah, Nine of Pentacles. This is success, right? This is independently owned and operated, very capable, living a good life, nothing to worry about. I don't know if you're, this is you or somebody that you're dealing with. This is somebody that has become successful through hard work and persevering. Totally at ease. Nothing to worry about. Now, this could be your energy. You are very capable of being successful with hard work and perseverance. Or you're dealing with somebody that is already successful. Okay, this is somebody that may be a business person. You know, they, this may be a business woman. Could, looks like it's a woman. I'm not sure. But, I mean, it could be a man. Um, living a very good life. This is having plenty. Some of you are going to start to see an increase of some sort. There's going to be an increase of abundance coming your way. Whether it's a gift of money or you're partnering up with somebody that has money. There, 888, 9 of Pentacles, 10 of Pentacles. This is long-term stability. It's something permanent. It's, it's extremely comfortable. There's been a broken heart, though. And it's interesting that it came out reverse because I think there's a healing Okay, healing that heart. Ten of, tens are completions. It is completions. So it's a completion of a cycle here. Eight of wands reversed. Now the eight of wands reversed is typically delays. Stuck. Blocked. Somebody has blocked something. Blocked communication. Delays. 
<laughs> ah, the moon could be dealing with Pisces or Cancer. Something is off. Um, truth being revealed. Need to look at things a little bit deeper. There's something that you are not that you're not seeing. They have con or somebody hasn't been listening to their intuition. They've been in a place of fear. They've been causing their own delays because of their own illusions or because of their own fear. There's a need to release your fear and be honest with yourself. Um, you are very capable of success, okay? Anyhow, the moon card reversed is, is deception. Something's going to be made clear. You're going to receive some sort of clarity. Some, you're going to see something that you didn't see. Maybe it has to do with communication or messages or something like that. Maybe this has to do with money or an ex. Somebody's going to see something that was hidden, okay? And it, it's going to... It has to do with messages or communication that was hidden has to do with an ex or something like that. Mm. Ah! The devil. So there's there's materialism here as well. There is definitely some materialism here. There's toxic, unhealthy behavior. Uh, greed, lust, addictions, lies, manipulation. Somebody's been definitely lying. Okay, we have the shadow twice. All is not as it seems. Something that is very unhealthy, that is toxic. Somebody is very materialistic. They're very, very greedy. Or they've been doing something unhealthy. It's going to be revealed. There's been a delay, but it is going to be revealed. I don't know how that resonates with you. You're going to be getting some sort of clarity. It may have to do with money. Okay, but it may have to do with money because we definitely have some money here. Eights are about change. Okay, the time is now. And it is it is very positive. Anyhow. The devil is toxic, unhealthy trauma bond. Somebody is bound to somebody for all the wrong reasons. Codependent, codependency. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is about give and take. It's about reciprocation. It's about receiving, getting what you deserve. I feel like this is like coming out of illusion, seeing something clearly. Something may be taken away and given to somebody else. Oh, wow, that resonates with you. But I'm going to tell you what I hear and see. Um, Devil, temptation, lust, greed, materialism, bound, bound to an unhealthy situation. There's a need to uh, see things differently. Be, you need to look deeper at a situation. There's some sort of hidden messages here. Or some, you know, this can go vice versa. I don't know who is messaging. This has to do with an ex. I'm sorry, but that's what we got here. Uh, Six of Pentacles is about reciprocation. It's about give and take. It's about getting what you deserve. And then we have the eights, which is you reap what you sow as well. What goes around comes around. There could be some karma here. Eight is a very karmic number because of that infinity sign. Um, so there could be some karma. that, it, But this could be the end of a karmic cycle. Breaking free, perhaps, from an unhealthy situation to get what you deserve. I mean, hopefully that's the case. Definitely there's been a delay. Um... Because there's your delays. You are very capable of success. You are. You're just not seeing something clearly. You. It's almost like you've let lust or greed or materialism or something cloud your thoughts. Instant gratification. Materialism. It could be money. Oh my goodness. What the hell is this? There is still temptation here. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Knight. No, eight. I had that covered. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Not putting in effort. Not getting what you're not getting what you deserve. 
You're not getting, somebody's not getting what they deserve. We have a greedy son of a person here. I'm trying to control myself. I'm trying. Anyhow, this is like not getting what you, you haven't been getting what you deserve. I think that you have somebody here that is very selfish, very greedy, very untoxic. I don't know, it could be a Pisces, could be a Cancer, could be a Capricorn. Um, not getting, not putting in effort. You deserve to receive. You deserve to receive or somebody deserves to receive. Definitely have some sort of greed here. We have a greedy, selfish individual here that is not telling the truth. That's the moon. But there's something that you're going to see or they're going to see. It could go vice versa. Something is about to be revealed. Okay. Something is about to be revealed that. I don't know. That says something isn't working out. The Eight of Pentacles says that something isn't working out. Something that was hidden below the surface is going to be revealed. It, I don't know if it has to do with sex or money. It could. There's been some sort of delayed movement, but things are definitely going to change. Ah, look at that. That's you, right? Taking charge, taking control in the position of authority. So yeah, you're going to be making a decision. The decision is yours to make. Okay. You're the boss, right? You're, you're the one in control here. So you're going to be making a decision you're, and I feel like this is something that you've been in denial about because that moon card is reversed behind you. It's like you've just ignored it. You've been ignoring your intuition. You've been ignoring the truth. You've been refusing to look deeper. You've been uh, stuck in a situation with that eight of wands reversed. I think that things are going to happen really extremely fast now because of the eight of wands reversed. My stomach's about ready to go off. I can feel it. Uh, there, this is like, it's like you've been in a trauma bond of some sort, a toxic situation. You haven't been getting what you deserve. I feel like this is making a decision, a very definite decision, using your wisdom, right? Using your wisdom. You have a lot of uh, inner wisdom here. This is taking control, taking back control. You are, because the devil's underneath it. So I feel like you're going to be taking back control. You're going to be taking back your control. You're going to be taking control. Okay, you're going to take the leadership position. Well, it looks like we'll see if that happens. Anyhow, the eight of pentacles reverse the eight. Of, this is not working out. This has to do with money or home or a job or stuff. There's, there's money issues here. There's, this is about money. There's greed. There's materialism. I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that is very greedy, very selfish, very shallow. You may see some messages or I don't know if somebody is, is stealing money or something like that, or they, they're very greedy. You know, they, all they care about is money. I think that's probably the case. Anyhow, um, eight of pentacles. Some of you may have a job or you have something that is definitely not working out. Okay. Whatever this is, somebody's not putting in much effort. They're not giving very much. And I think that you, you, you are about to, maybe you're going to take something away and give it to somebody else. Now, if you're the boss, that's your choice, right? You get to make the choice of who, of who you give to. This is like, this is like giving to taking from one and giving to somebody else. I don't know how that resonates for you. There's been some sort of sadness. We have somebody here that has been suffering. They've been in some sort of pain. They've been thinking a lot. They've been contemplating about, you know, their stability, their financial stability and their financial comfort. And I think that we have somebody here that's also been thinking about their family, you know, you know, their long-term stability, maybe even their retirement or their children. You know, this has to do with, you know, maybe have a father here and children, um, there's definitely deception and lies with that moon card. Uh, this is making a definite decision to give, to receive. So somebody is going to be, this is like doing something generous, right? Giving somebody something to receive something in, in, you know, this is reciprocation. So I feel like 
this is like, I don't know if this is a, making a donation or this is something to do with charity or something like that. This could even be making a decision to, that has to do with a charity or something with the Six of Pentacles. Something hasn't been working out. You may have been tied to a very unhealthy situation that isn't working out. And in order for you to have what you deserve, deserve you have to make a decision about your long-term stability here. Getting, some of you are, are going to be seeing an increase, you are, by making the decision that you are about to make. Whatever this decision is that you are about to make is going to bring you an increase of abundance. But you have to, you're probably going to have to break free from a toxic, unhealthy situation. Yeah. Yeah. You have to choose. You have to choose. You can choose the toxic or you can choose to receive. What's it going to be? Huh? You can choose to give to somebody that deserves it. Or you can choose to let lust, greed, materialism, and unhealthy bonds control your life. You're going to be put in the position of authority where you get to make a decision, okay? You're going to have to look deep, okay? Look deep into yourself, okay? Because that's, look deep, look really deep with this moon card reverse into yourself. You're here. You're here. You're front and center. You want abundance. You want change. Look deep at who you are. What's toxic in your life? What is unhealthy? What is based on materialism? What is based on lust? What are you getting from this? Are you getting what you deserve? Are you getting the abundance? Are you giving to the right people? Are you giving to people that deserve it? Because you always get what you give. What goes around comes around. Remember that, okay? So if you are in a toxic situation, you're going to receive toxic. If you're in a healthy situation, you're going to receive healthy. If you're in a situation where you're with somebody that's not putting in any work, then you're not going to be successful. You have the cape, you have every opportunity to be successful. You are very capable of being successful. But you have to be the boss. You have you it's kind of like the boss, okay? When you're the boss, okay? You're the boss. You have to do you want people working under you that don't do a good job? Do you want people under work, un, un, working under you that don't put in any effort, that don't contribute to the team? You, how long are those people going to, are they going to make you shine? Are they going to, are they going to cause your whole business to fall apart because they're, they're shit? It's kind of like that with a partnership as well. Okay. And I know that you know that because typically you guys, you're, you're the boss, right? You understand. You have to, you have to hire people. It's kind of, we've talked about this before. I don't know if it's your sign. You, it's, it's like this with every aspect of your life. Okay. You have to be with people who are going to support your growth. Okay. If they're going to damage you in any way, they're going to bring you, whether this is a work relationship or if you're coming home at night and they're giving you grief, they're spending all your money, they're bringing you down. They're not contributing. Same thing. You got to work with people that are going to support your success. Damn, the bottom of the deck, we have temperance. Temperance is a card of change. It's a card of evolution. It's accepting and allowing that something is over. It comes after death. It comes after the death card. So this is, this is a, this is evolution, right? It's accepting. It's going with the flow. It's allowing. Okay. It's a card of purpose and it's a card of divine timing. And I have to tell you that the time is now for a major life change. You're about to exchange something lesser for something better.
if you choose, because free will plays a part. Good luck.